So, there's a secret on this planet that not many people know about. It's been nestled away in crevices that have gone mostly unseen and unheard of by mankind. A select few have come to know of it. Aristotle, Shakespeare, Bruce Lee, and of course, many humans forgotten by history. However, the real heroes of this finding are, lo and behold, these fellas, the Langer Monkeys. We're told that thousands of years ago, these beautiful primates were observed by villagers as they made continuous hikes up the Himalayan mountains to pry the cracks for what looked like black tar. The trek and commitment to climb over 10,000 feet high for this substance crushed the observers with curiosity. Why take on such a big task? And well, in the blink of a historical eye, the gathering of Shilajit for us began and was born. It grew popularity relatively rapidly for those times and was coined the conqueror of mountains and the destroyer of weakness. Eventually, it was traded on the Silk Road and became an Ayurvedic staple in India, revered in sacred texts and honored by many cultures. However, the real fascinating element to all of this is its composition. Shilajit is ancient plant matter that has been trapped in the mountains for thousands of years, and within it are 85 natural minerals like magnesium, potassium, zinc, calcium, iodine, and the list goes on and on. But the real kicker is the unique fulvic and humic acid content within it. The fulvic acid helps transport the nutrients, and the humic acid allows those nutrients to be extremely bioavailable for our bodies, so it makes it a really efficient and complete process, so there are no nutrients wasted. In the Western world, not much was really known about Shilajit until the 1900s, when Russian scientists brought it over. But even then, folk and herbal medicine became outshined by pharmaceutical companies in the early 20th century, so this mineral remedy remained unknown until the past few decades. Now, modern clinical studies are showing in academic terms what older cultures always knew. Shilajit's incredible effects on the body, its influence for vigor, strength, cognitive function, and as an adaptogen to help the body strengthen the oxidative stress. On PubMed and ResearchGate, you can find these studies showing its positive influence on bone density, muscle repair and recovery, men and women's reproductive cycles and hormones. For men, the effects on their testosterone is just incredible, and there's so much more. It's no magic either. Most of us are just deficient in some minerals because of the lack of nutrients in our food. I mean, in modern day, with all the over-farming and tilling, the soil has just been heavily stripped of minerals. So remineralizing our bodies with organic ancient plant matter is naturally going to help it run optimally. So it's safe to say that this Himalayan resin is returning to public consciousness little by little. And here I am, making a video in my backyard, trying my best. My name's Pat. I'm the founder of Chuga Shilajit. I came across Shilajit at the perfect time. My habits weren't the best, I wasn't exercising or going after things properly, but I started becoming infatuated by the feeling and admittedly the lore of this Himalayan Shilajit. And before I go any further, Shilajit did not turn that chapter around for me. Exercise, reading, taking action did. But Shilajit did play a really special role that absolutely and clearly helped. I could feel my cells getting excited when it was soaking into my body, similar to when I eat fruit and I can feel my body cheering. I felt more stamina and energy generating from my cells, more life, more vigor, more strength. This really helped the snowball effect of that process for me, and I couldn't resist learning everything I could about it. And this went on for a while until I finally decided that more people needed to know about this. Not just my family, not just my friends and the people whose ears I was talking off, but everyone. And I thought, what better mission to take on than to help be a part of the resurgence of this great secret in my part of the world that I know will benefit so many people. So I eventually stopped working at the music studio I was at and committed and spent a lot of time reaching out to the people of the mountains, the families, harvesters, herbal shops in Nepal, India, Pakistan. I would get on the phone with these people and thank God they're skilled enough to speak English because I certainly did not know how to speak their language. 
but we had good conversation and they all sent many samples and I spent a lot of time getting them tested and hopping on calls with these good people and having long conversations and as a result I created some really cool relationships. The due diligence mission came to an end when I found a family owned operation in India who really cared about the art of harvesting shilajit and were just truly dedicated to the craft and we partnered. When I found them it was a no brainer. And now Thanks to that, here at Chuga we have the honor of supplying some of the best shilajit on the planet. It took a good while, but for the past three years, we've been sharing this mountain gem to a lot of people. And I just want to thank Raul, Shanoas, both of your families, your teams. Thank you. We, we thank you, seriously. And I'm going to continue to make more videos about this journey in the future. But if this is something that ignites a little spark or curiosity within you, then join us, follow our page, check out our website, learn more, and hell, give it a try. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And stay tuned. You'll hear from me soon. Thanks.